Greetings friends around the world. Well, many of you may wonder about the order of prophesied events yet to occur and yet to be fulfilled according to the Bible prophecy. So here is a brief sequential prophetic summary that I want to give to you in these very last days in which we are living. Basically, the very last phase, let's call it phase of human history, will be the Great Tribulation, which will start three and a half years prior to the return of Jesus Christ. Now, since the Great Tribulation cannot happen yet, what are some specific events to look for which occur prior to the Great Tribulation? Well, the basic sequence is that certain sorrows and troubles will continue, as we read in Mark chapter 13, verse 5. Mark 13, verse 5. And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and I will, will deceive many. But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be earthquakes in various places, and there will be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Verse 37, And what I say to you, I say to you all, all watch. So the sorrows are already happening, dear friends. What will happen next for the next seals to be opened is not laid out clearly enough. And But however, there are also other events that will build to fulfill many scriptures. For example, some nation will become highly indebted before the Great Tribulation, as it says in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 6. And this is indeed happening to the United States of America, as well as to the United Kingdom, though the total amount of indebtedness is less in the United Kingdom. Also, we see that Damascus will be destroyed, Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1, and great military damage will hit Jerusalem, according to Isaiah chapter 22, verses 8 and 9. The timing of these two events possibly occur before a prophesied peace deal. One of the most important events to watch for is when the peace deal of Daniel 9, 9 verse 27 is confirmed. Deals have been proposed, but the biblical one has not yet been made nor confirmed. A king of the north, who was also a prince in Daniel 9 verse 27, and a king of the south, uh, who is mentioned in Daniel 11 verse 27, they will arise and make a lying deal, as it says in Daniel 11 27. Now, king of the north will be the European leader, and the king of the south will be the leader of the Arab confederation. Europe, according to Daniel 11 25, will get a great army. And we're seeing the foundations for this right now before our eyes. Animal sacrifices will begin again in the Jewish state, according to Daniel 9, verse 27. Now, please note it is possible that the king of the south could rise up prior to Daniel 9, 27, or even after the sacrifices resume, as could the king of the north. And his army will be greater, great, greater years ahead. The deal of 9, 27 is confirmed. The gospel of the kingdom of God the only gospel that Jesus Christ brought to us from heaven, then will have been preached enough to the world as a witness for the end to come, according to Matthew 24, 14. So steps related to this are already in process. This seems to be related to the short work of Romans 9, verse 28. In other words, preparations for this are also occurring right now. A naval encounter between the king of the north and the Anglo-Saxon American, Anglo-Americans could just be only the Americans, without the other Anglo-Saxon people. So the naval account between Anglo-Americans, or just Americans, and the King of the North will take place according to Daniel chapter 11, verse 30. And this might mark the start of media attention and the short work prophesied in Romans 9, verse 28. Now, Jewish sacrifices will be stopped according to Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, and Daniel 11, verse 31. Some Jews would like to start the sacrifices now, and they did perform a trial event on December 9, 2018, but the Israeli government will not currently allow the daily sacrifices that groups like the Temple Institute and Sanhedrin want. Europe will reorganize into the ten kingdoms, not necessarily ten currently existing nations, as some have improperly insisted upon and give power to the beast. So those ten kingdoms, those ten regions, possibly they'll give power to the beast or to the uh, first beast of Revelation 13. Some of this could happen earlier, and reorganize, reorganization has been proposed already as far as the, United, as far as the European Union is concerned. The abomination of desolation will then be set up 
according to Matthew 24 verse 15 and Mark chapter 13 verse 14. The abomination of desolation will be set up because of actions of the king of the north, as we read in Daniel 9, 10, 27 and 11, 31. The most faithful expect to continue to tell what is happening until they are somehow stopped. And then the prophesied famine of the word will start like in Amos chapter 8, verse 11 and 12. Now a decree is to be issued according to Zephaniah chapter 2 and verses 1, 2 and 3. And then the most faithful Philadelphians will fly to the wilderness according to Revelation 12, verse 14 to 16, and those in Judea should flee, per Jesus' statement in Matthew 24, verse 15 through 19, and Mark chapter 13, verses 15 through 18. Now, prior to the time the Great Tribulation starts, the two witnesses will support the work, and several days before it starts, they will get power to do their job, which is prophesied in Revelation, 13, uh, in Revelation 11, verse 3 through 15. Now, bolstered by the Antichrist, then the Great Tribulation will begin, as Christ told us in Matthew 24, 21 and 22, Mark 13, verse 19 and 20, and Daniel 11, verse 39, Daniel 12, verse 1, and Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 7 and 8. So, the Great Tribulation, indeed, will eliminate the United States of America and its Anglo-Saxon descended allies as nations, that has been prophesied in Daniel 11:39, Jeremiah 30 verse 7, and Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 7 and 8. The King of the South, which is the leader of the Arab Confederation, will shortly later push against the King of the North and get eliminated, as prophesied in Daniel 11 verses 40 to 43. Those loyal to that leader will know tribulation, according to Ezekiel chapter 30 verses 2 through 8. About a month or so less than two and a half years after the Great Tribulation began, the sixth seal will be opened. There will be a blood moon and a darkened sun. We see the revelation of that uh, in the book of Revelation itself, chapter 6, verse 12, in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 30 and 31. And uh, also we see that in Revelation, chapter 7, verses 1 through 8, 144,000 will be sealed. Now, shortly thereafter, the seventh seal will be opened, as prophesied in Revelation 8, verse 1 through 6, and a year-long, year-long day of the Lord, prophesied in Isaiah 34, verse 8, will begin with trumpet blasts, plagues, etc. All those trumpet blasts and plagues are described to us in Revelation chapter 8, and uh, in Revelation chapter 9, 1 through 21, Revelation chapter 8, verse 7 through 13, and also in Revelation 11, and the uh, verses 13 and 14. And uh, after a year-long day of the Lord, according to Isaiah 34, verse 8, will begin with trumpet blasts, plagues, etc., now, the crashing of war wood into the earth will occur with after third trumpet blast, Revelation 8, verse 10 and 11. Some might call this planet X hitting the earth. The gathering of Armageddon will begin related to the sixth trumpet blast. That gathering is prophesied in Revelation chapter 8, verse 13 through 19, and Revelation 16, verses 12 through 16. Then, at the seventh trumpet, prophesied in Revelation 11, verse 15, the saints will rise in the first resurrection and Jesus will return to establish the millennial kingdom. Now, just to give you the end of this short summary, I know this is very short and I know you might be having many, many questions, but those questions will be indeed answered through various messages you'll find already on this channel or through some messages that you'll find later posted on this channel. So the last point of this brief summary is that the Great Tribulation should begin about three and a half years after the peace deal prophesied in Daniel 9.27 is confirmed and right after the King of the North tries to proclaim peace and safety as prophesied in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 he will try, of course, to, pre to proclaim peace and safety, to throw people off. 
And we have the prophecy about that in Daniel 11, verse 24. Now, of course, he'll throw, try to throw people off for his invasion plans, because in his heart he'll be devising military plans. Meanwhile, that he will be uh, on the outward, <laughs> respecting and uh, paying tribute to the famous peace deal that will be that will be signed in the Middle East, the peace deal between the Jews and the Arab nations. Well, so this is, I realize, a short brief and brief summary of the prophesied coming prophesied events. But nevertheless, at least, uh, I have presented this to you in this condescended form so that you will have an idea of what is yet ahead of us and what is yet to happen just prior to the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.